Santino. And I am Cristiano. And this is... The Mary and right now we Brothers Podcast. Podcast. And welcome to another video. Halloween is coming up very shortly. And um, you probably, and we have another guest star because we're going to be the Halloween story. You probably um, know her from It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. It is the one and only Mommy Marinelli. Woo! Thank you, Santino, for that great introduction, and Cristiano for having me on. I really yeah, appreciate me, it. Yeah, me just sitting here and looking pretty. <laughs> well, you guys can't see her, so you ba she's basically talking, looking, sounding pretty. <laughs> well, thank you for having me back on, and uh, to get in the spirit of Halloween, especially this year with uh, a lot of things not happening. Corona. Figured we'd uh, at least um, read uh, one of my favorite uh, Charlie Brown uh, stories. It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, by Charles M. Schultz. And you can also see the movie bit that they made on it, if from fifty years ago. Yeah. So, so we're each gonna have different parts. Santino's gonna be Linus. Cristiano's gonna be Charlie Brown, and I'll be the narrator in the girl part. And everyone else. Okay, so let's begin. Charlie Brown was raking leaves. Lucy was holding a football, and Linus was inspecting the pumpkin patch. It could only mean one thing. Halloween was almost here. Back inside, Linus started writing his yearly letter to the Great Pumpkin. Dear Great Pumpkin, I am looking forward to your arrival on Halloween night. I hope you will bring me lots of presents. Yeah. Who are you writing to, Linus? The Great Pumpkin! On Halloween night, the Great Pumpkin rises out of the pumpkin patch and flies through the air with his bag of toys for all the good children. You must be crazy. Why? The rest of the Peanuts gang thought that Linus was crazy, too. But Charlie Brown's little sister, Sally, was very interested in the Great Pumpkin and in Linus. <laughs> Would you like to sit with me in the pumpkin patch on Halloween night and wait for the Great Pumpkin? Oh, I'd love to, Linus. When the mail came, there was a surprise for Charlie Brown. I got an invitation to a Halloween party. Yay! Is the invitation to Violet's party? If you got an invitation, it was a mistake. There were two lists, one to invite and one not to invite. Oops. Charlie Brown was embarrassed, but he decided to go to the Halloween party anyway. He could hardly wait. On Halloween night, Charlie Brown met up with his friends. Lucy wore a witch mask. Charlie Brown's ghost costume looked a little funny. It was covered in big black eye holes because he'd gotten a little carried away with the scissors. Just then, Snoopy passed by wearing a long red scarf, goggles, and an aviator cap. It's the World War I flying ace. Now I've heard everything. All right, everybody, let's go trick-or-treating and then to Violet's for the big party. But the World War I flying ace ignored her. He had to go on an important mission. The World War I flying ace climbed into the cockpit of his Sopwith Camel airplane. It was up to him to find the Red Baron and bring him down. He flew through the sky, firing at his targets. Suddenly, the Sopwith Camel was hit. The plane started smoking and spiraling through the air. It landed with a loud crash. Whoosh! Now the World War I flying ace would have to continue his mission on foot. He crept through the French countryside, slinking through the bushes and wading through a lake. As the kids passed the pumpkin patch, they saw Linus waiting for the great pumpkin. You blockhead, you're going to miss all the fun just like last year. Sally was torn. Should she go trick-or-treating or wait for the great pumpkin with Linus? Suddenly, she ran back to the pumpkin patch. I'm glad you came back. Each year, the great, great pumpkin rides out the pumpkin patch that he thinks is the most sincere. At the first house they reach, everyone yelled, Tricks Tr or treats, money or eats. Then they compared their haul. I got five pieces of candy. I got a chocolate bar. I got a quarter. Charlie Brown peered into his bag. I got a rock. And that was what happened at every single house. While the rest of his friends got treats like candy bars, cookies, gum, and popcorn bars, Charlie Brown's bag filled up with rocks. 
Come on, let's get going. It's time for the Halloween party. As the kids passed the pumpkin patch again, they laughed at Linus. The great pumpkin will be here. Linus knows what he's talking about. All right, where is he? He'll be here. I, Just wait. I hope so. Just think of all the fun we're missing. But at the Halloween party, Charlie Brown didn't think Sally and Linus were missing anything. The other kids wanted him to model for their jack-o'-lantern. So they drew a big pumpkin face on the back of his head. Then the kids bobbed for apples. But when Lucy nabbed an apple, she was disgusted to find the World War I flying ace on the other side of it. My lips touch dog lips! Blah! Ah! Ah! The World War I flying ace was insulted. He slunk out of the door to continue his mission. If anyone had told me I'd be waiting in a pumpkin patch on Halloween night, I'd have said they were crazy. Then she and Linus heard a rustling noise. Ooh. A dark figure appeared before them. What's that? It's the great pumpkin! You have to go to the pumpkin patch! In all the excitement, Linus fainted, but it wasn't the great pumpkin at all. It was a World War I flying ace on his imaginary mission. Ooh. What happened? Did you leave any toys? Sally was furious. I was robbed. Halloween is over and I've missed it. She stormed out of the pumpkin patch, leading Linus alone to wait for the great pumpkin. In the middle of the night, Lucy woke up and realized Linus was still waiting for the great pumpkin. She found him asleep, shivering under his blanket. Well, another Halloween has come and gone. Don't take it too hard that the great pumpkin has never showed up. Just wait till next year. Charlie Brown will find the pumpkin patch that is real sensey, and I'll sit there until the great pumpkin appears. The end. Thank you for listening to the It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown by Charles M. Schultz. And thank you, Mommy. Yes, thank you very much for doing most of the reading. We're just very thankful of you for doing it. Even though it's probably taking an hour, we're happy. Well, thank you very much, boys, for having me on. And I wish you and everyone a happy Halloween. It may be a little different this year, but... Don't go trick-or-treating. That doesn't mean you can't uh, enjoy the spirit of Halloween. So take care. By watching our videos and doing a marathon. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess then, thank you for watching this episode of the Marinelli Brothers Podcast. It's Dracula! Don't forget to subscribe. Obliterate that like button. Hit the notification bell. And please leave a positive comment on our video. No, I thought I was Dracula! Whatever. Anyways, thank you for watching, and goodbye. Yeah! <laughs>